Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. It's Tuesday, December 15th at about 8 o'clock p.m. and I'm getting ready to wash my face and get ready for bed. It's been a really long day. Because today was sort of a long day, a little bit stressful, I didn't vlog my normal follow me around day in the lifestyle vlog that I've been sharing throughout Vlogmas, but I thought this would be interesting to some of you who like skincare um, and we'll talk about sort of what I've been doing. So I've been using the brand Dermalogica since April and I use pretty much, that's all I use really, um, but this is not a sponsored video. So just know that it's not sponsored. I paid for all of these myself and have been buying them and rebuying them since April. So a little bit of background about my skin and kind of where I am right now. I gave birth a little over a year ago. I gave birth last October in 2019. And I say that because your hormones are so tied to your skin and of course pregnancy has its own you know hormonal roller coaster as does postpartum after you give birth um, and then I have been breastfeeding and I'm still breastfeeding now at 13 and a half months postpartum but my cycle has returned um, and so it's one of those things where I just these hormonal breakouts have just pretty much not stopped from <laughs> pregnancy and postpartum and now breastfeeding um, because I just, there's a lot of hormones still going on. So I've noticed such an improvement in my skin's texture. I feel like overall my skin just feels plumper. It feels um, just better, healthier, um, more hydrated for sure than before I started using some of these products. Um, but I still deal with it's not horrific, but I still deal with, um, there's a bigger one right there, hormonal acne um, along this area. And I have been trying to make a point to go and get facials like every six weeks or so. Um, I'd like to make that once a month in the new year if I can swing it. But that's been helpful too, to you know have some more expert advice and things like that. So anyway, let's go with my first step in my routine. So the first step in my routine is Dermalogica's Pre-Cleanse. This is an oil-based cleanser that, can you see? Um, is great for melting away grime and dirt and junk in your face, um, on your face. I didn't wear makeup today, but I love using this to remove my makeup. I do remove my eye makeup before I go in with that. And I just use, this is the knockoff Walmart Equate Beauty version, but the um, Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover, I've been using that for years and years. Um, so I use that on my eyes. I soak a cotton pad and just hold it to my eyes. Um, and then gently massage the um, mascara off because I like to wear waterproof mascara. But this um, pre-cleanse takes off all the other stuff like concealer and uh, blush and foundation and everything else. So you massage it onto dry skin and then you add a little bit of water and it sort of makes like a milky cleanser. Um, and then you rinse it off and Dermalogica recommends doing a double cleanse. So that's what I've been doing. So I start with this and then I move on to using their special cleansing gel um, second. So now that this is all massaged and I apologize if I'm looking just above the camera, I obviously have the, um, it's called the mirror on the camera up where I can see what's in frame and I've never really washed my face <laughs> without being able to see my face. So I'm using you, the camera, as my mirror. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get a little bit of water here and you'll be able to see. Can you see that? Becomes a little bit more cleanser-like. Very gentle. It has a very light citrus smell, kind of lemony. It reminds me of this, the of lemongrass, like essential oil or something like that. It's, it's very nice, I like it a lot. All right, I'm gonna rinse it off. All right, I very lightly patted my face dry, but it still has um, some moisture on it, which is what I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this little silicone cleansing mitt. Um, I will link one below. And then the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel um, is my next step. So I just add a little pump of that onto here. And scrub away but it's very very gentle so this one I actually bought um, or actually came with a Dermalogica product that I purchased um, a while back but you can get very similar 
silicone cleansing mitts on Amazon. So I'll link those below because I know some of y'all have purchased them after seeing me use it. It really does feel good. It's like a light massage and a light exfoliation and it really grabs all the junk out of your pores, it feels like, which is always a nice bonus. So today has been a really interesting day. It's just basically crunch time for my business. I have a small online shop and I sell things like this, screen printed and embroidered garments for women um, and men, mostly women. And um, they all have different designs on them that are either embroidered or that are um, screen printed. And um, each one is made to order by hand. So it's a pretty special little business that we've got going on. But um, because each one is made to order, it's also ordered to order. So the chain of events is as follows. A customer places an order with us and let's say like this is a medium berry long sleeve comfort colors. Okay, now I'm just using a, this is also from my shop. Mine comes in a set, a large hand towel and a small, um, what's this called, washcloth. So I'm just gonna gently Mm, this just came out of the wash. It smells good. I'm just going to gently remove the soap. So anyway, it's crunch time right now because I'm trying to ensure that I get everybody's orders out in time for them to arrive um, for Christmas in case they're Christmas gifts or some people order Christmas designs. And um, all year long, our shop has a two to three week processing time because it's everything's made to order. So anyway, like I was saying, someone places an order with us, let's say it's like this, like medium long sleeve, very, um, very long sleeve comfort colors. So then I have to contact our supplier and place an order for one specific thing. Like we don't have any inventory, so we order it to order. And then we have to wait, it's usually between one and four business days for us to get that garment and I order, obviously I order a bulk of garments at one time. And then once they have um, come in, then I have to sort them by design. So let's say I have 200 garments that have come in, I have a lot of different designs. And so like I'll have a merry and bright basket and all of the garments that are gonna go into um, be printed with merry and bright go there. And then after they're all printed and embroidered, um, which can take, I mean, like last night Riley was out until midnight working on it, so it can be done relatively quickly, but it's it it also can sometimes take, I would say again, two to three, four business days for them all to get done. Then I bring them home and then I have to sort them by order because now I have like a huge stack of Mary and Bright um, design, but like, I'll have a medium berry, I'll have a 2X blue spruce, I'll have a, like all these different colors and sizes together. And so I have to sort them into the orders that they go to and then package them up and put the correct mailing label and mail it out. So it's actually, it's none of it is difficult. It's just a very tedious, time consuming, detail oriented process because there's so many steps. Um, this is the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Mist. It is a toner and it smells so good. Mm, I love it. So with all that in mind, it already takes us a little while to get an order and fulfill the order. On a typical, any typical time of year when it's not a COVID year, it takes us about, I would say probably about eight to 10 days. Um, so one to two weeks to have that whole process happen. Um, right now it's taking like the full three weeks because what's happening is that when we're ordering the garments, instead of being able to order from the Fort Worth or Dallas warehouses, they are not in stock. And so we're having to order like one from the New Jersey warehouse, one from the Florida warehouse, one from the Ohio warehouse, one from the Utah warehouse. And it's just, every, it's such a nightmare trying to keep track of them and when they all come in. So I'm not trying to complain. This is, this is our job. It just is what it is, but it's been pretty stressful. And one of our suppliers has decided that because they are overwhelmed with orders and things being out of stock, that if something's out of stock, they just don't alert the customer, which is me. Um, they just don't tell me, they just don't send it. So like I'll order, like I ordered probably 25 or 30 sweatshirts from them a few days ago and they should have come in today and they didn't. And my husband's like, that means they're just not in stock. And I'm like, well, we could have ordered them from another supplier if we had known. 
So I won't rant about that, but it is tough, <laughs> tough right now. Uh, I'm putting on this serum. Let me show you what it is once I put it on my face a little bit because I forgot to show you beforehand. It is, I think, called the Age Bright Serum and it has some anti-acne ingredients. So I like to focus it around my chin, but I also just love, it smells fresh and it feels so good on the skin and I feel like it just plumps the skin all the way around. So let's see. Age Bright Clearing Serum. Here is what that looks like. Um, really, really like that. So let me get myself back in focus here. Um, so that's what's been going on today. So Riley and I spent literally hours going through all of my current open orders. I think I have about 80 open orders left to fulfill. Um, and all of those garments are either on their way or here and they've been sorted and they are getting printed tomorrow. So we're doing the best we can. It's just been very, um, I am just looking forward to when the, that last order goes out the door and I can just take a deep breath because it's been kind of like a constant thing, as you can imagine, um, all year long and certainly the end of the year, of course, in retail is always the busiest time. My last thing that I do is um, apply this skin smoothing cream. I really like this. I have very, very dry skin and I feel like this is just a really great um, everyday cream. I also, I'll show you in a minute, there's also one, I think, yeah, by Neutrogena that I really, really like that um, is for extra dry skin. And sometimes I use that instead because I feel like sometimes it's, it's just a bit heavier than the skin smoothing cream. And I like that. I like that it really like sinks into your pores um, and gives you that moisturized feeling. So you know, people are, every time I share anything about skincare, I get like 8,000 comments like, you're not doing it right, you're not doing it right. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm doing the best I can. Here is, I really like this as well. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I have the extra dry skin version. There's also just the dry skin version. Here's what it looks like. It is very much like a gel, gel cream. I really, really, really like it. Um, I'll put a little bit on right now, actually. Sometimes I just layer it over top for some extra moisture because I've got such dry skin. Okay, I apologize for the sudden cut. <laughs> My camera died because of course it did. <laughs> oh, what a day. Okay. Um, I like to just put a thin layer of Vaseline on my lips. It's what a dermatologist told me to do. So there you go. I guess it's just a really good skin protectant slash barrier. Looks like I like went ham on some 90s lip gloss. Don't get me wrong, I still like lip gloss to this day, but that's a lot. Okay, so the last step in my routine, in my skincare routine, which is obviously, um, this is hand cream, so it is not for my face, but is the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Fragrance Free Hand Cream. This is like a holy grail product of mine. I've been using it since 2013 um, and I love it. I love it. So after I'm finished with my face, I always put some of this on my hands before bed and it makes such a positive difference in my dry hands, especially because I touch textile all day. Like I'm touching garments all day and folding them. And so you don't really think about that, but you're, my hands get really dried out because any natural oil that would occur is is being like swiped away by all <laughs> all the t-shirts I'm touching and so at the end of the day putting this on is so soothing and it feels so 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 nice um, and I actually have this really cute I'll show you in a second once this is more rubbed in one of my friends gave me a little handmade um, hand scrub a vanilla cookie scented hand scrub it smells so good and I've been doing that like every third night or so I don't do it every day but every few nights I've been doing it and that feels so good too to like scrub off all that dead skin and then afterwards I follow it up with the Norwegian formula hand cream because I just love it love it now I will say this is pretty heavy um, and so I only like using it before bed um, I've used it before like before I'm about to go sit on the computer or if I'm like just gonna go sit on the couch of course it doesn't matter but I don't really like using it 
um, in the morning. I like using it in the evening. So I have another hand cream that is not nearly as good, um, but that I like to use throughout the day. And that is this one. This is the Aveda Hand Relief. Um, I love the scent of this. I don't like using scented products before bed, which is why I go for this one before bed. Plus this one, like I said, is way more moisturizing, way more healing. This one is just like slightly thicker than your average body lotion in my opinion. It smells so good, like every Aveda product. And it's like a, I never know what scents are. Like I think I know and then I'm always wrong. I would say like sort of a citrus scent. Um, but I'm sure if Riley were in here, he's much better at describing scents. He would be like, no, Blair, that's not citrusy. Anyway, it smells really, really good. Anything Aveda is like my favorite of all time. I, um, oh, let me show you. So something you should, you should know about me. I don't know why you should know this, but I'm just going to tell you is that my favorite, favorite scents for body care products is anything that's minty. So like rosemary mint or tea tree peppermint or lavender mint anything that has that like fresh mint scent i just love it so much so i saw this i needed to get more shampoo and conditioner and so i saw this um brand this is the paul mitchell tea tree special shampoo and and conditioner and um let's get it to focus there you go comes in these little green bottles and it is the best. It smells, oh, I mean, if you like hate the scent of like tea tree mint, do not get this. It is like a very strong scent, but when you use this to wash your hair, it makes your scalp tingle and feel cool. And so it's like, feels so invigorating and refreshing. And then I love getting out of the shower and I let my hair dry, um, either air dry or I'll blow dry it. And it's, it's like, it smells so, so good. And then I also bought, I just felt like in the winter time, it was the perfect time for all of these different scents. So I have that tea tree. This is like um, tea tree, peppermint, lavender. Yes. A tingle of invigorating tea tree oil, peppermint, and lavender. Yes, it's exactly what it smells like. I got that scent profile. And then I bought on Black Friday from Aveda, I bought their rosemary mint. Um, this is hand and body wash. I'm using it in the shower right now as body wash, so good. Like favorite body care scent of all time. And then I got the matching um, body lotion to go with this. So when I come out of the shower and lotion up, I smell like a peppermint stick. <laughs> Just, it's like fresh, fresh, fresh. I love it so much. And then I have this, which this isn't as pepperminty, um, but that's a beta as well. There was one more thing I was going to share. I guess maybe it was just this, um, this body, body wash. So I just like love, I love using that right now in the winter time. It just feels so fresh, so fresh. I love it, love it, love it. And the last thing that I'll share with regards to skincare is um, this. This is the O'Keeffe's Healthy Feet Night Treatment Foot Cream for extremely dry cracked feet. I wouldn't say my feet are extremely dry cracked feet, but partially it's because I use this. So I take a shower every other night and um, whenever I take a shower, when I come out, I use this. On so nights that I don't shower before bed, I don't take this. I find that my skin um, just dries out so much if I shower every day, even if I use lotion, because I just have really dry skin. And so, of course, if I like go on a really long walk and get sweaty or whatever, it's like 32 degrees right now, so. In the summer, my but, um, shower routine is different because I live in Texas. It's like 110 degrees. I've got to shower as much as possible. But in the wintertime, I can go a couple of days or every other day, like I said. So that is my skincare routine. I am looking over and making sure I have all my products right here, that that's everything. I also usually like to, my hair is a mess right now. I usually like to comb out my hair before bed and I'll put it in like a really, really loose ponytail on the top of my head so that when I lay down, it's like pulled out of my face, but not tight. Um, so I do like doing that. Oh, here is, this is what I wanted to show. This is this cute little vanilla cookie. Isn't that adorable? little jar of sugar scrub. Oh, you know what made me get on this tangent about peppermint stuff is because two years ago, I shared a video making um, peppermint 
sugar scrub, hand sugar scrub. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, I did show, it's like a short video just showing you how to use peppermints and crush them up and add some different oils and things and make it um, like this amazing, luxurious, peppermint hand scrub and um, I've had so many people over the years say that they've made that either for themselves or for loved ones as gifts and that people just absolutely love it. So because I was talking about hand scrub I started thinking about minty things which I have clearly established that I love and then I had to go into my shower and show you all the minty things that I have and just talk about all the variety of minty <laughs> body care products that I have. So anyway, that was the story for the day. The one nice thing was that we were at work late and my mother-in-law who works with my husband said, um, we have a whole bunch of leftover spaghetti if you wanna come over. And so we went over there and had spaghetti. So I did not have to cook dinner and I got to spend time with family. So that was really, really nice. Um, when we came home, we lit a big fire and I snuck away in here and said, I'm gonna go film a quick Vlogmas video so that I don't miss today. It was one of those cases where all day today I kept thinking, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and start my Vlogmas video. I'm gonna go ahead and start. But the only thing I was doing all day was packaging orders. And as you've seen throughout Vlogmas, I've done so many time lapses and I was like, I don't really feel like I need to do like eight more time lapses, but that's all I'm doing. And so anyway, I just thought, you know, why don't I just wait until, um, it's evening and just share sort of like my skincare routine. I had some people asking for morning skincare or morning makeup. So maybe one of these days I will try to do that as well. Um, I feel, I always feel really insecure doing makeup because I'm just, I just do what I do and I know it's not amazing. And I, you know what I mean? Like I just do what I do. Um, and people are just very particular about makeup on YouTube because of course there are folks on YouTube who are just incredible at makeup. I am not one of them. <laughs> I just do what I do each day and it works for me sort of thing. So I can still share though. I mean, you know, I'm not like that freaked out by it, but that's the story. My shower door has been open this whole time. I gotta put my stuff back here in a second. So I'm gonna go out there and sit in front of the fire with my family and enjoy this evening. Um, I really am so grateful for you guys for following along with me through all of these 15 Vlogmas vlogs where we only have 10 more um, until the end. I have enjoyed this so, so much. When I had considered doing Vlogmas, on one, it was like, you know, when you have different voices on both of your shoulders. So on one hand, um, you know, I had this voice, I was thinking like, this would be such a good outlet, it would be creative, it would be fun, it would be a way to really document Nora's first Christmas season where she's a toddler because last year she was like six weeks old, you know, so she was just teeny, teeny, tiny. Um, and just sort of like a fun way to sort of find moments to share and, and all of those great things. And on the other hand, I was thinking, Blair, what are you thinking? <laughs> this is like the worst time of year to do something like this. It's such a big project. It's a really big commitment. And um, there's a lot of work going on. You know, I just, I earlier described and throughout many of these videos I've been describing that it's just such a busy time of year in terms of work for both me and my husband. But it's turned out that I'm glad I listened to this voice um, because it's turned out to be such a fun project. This vlogmas has been, and I have just taken it day by day and I edit Pretty much every single night I try to go edit and that really helps me stay on top of things. The other thing that I think was really helpful is that I started vlogging on um, December 1st, but I didn't start sharing until I think December 6th. So I have a solid like five or six days in between filming and when the video needs to go up, which gives me some good bandwidth, some good leeway to um, actually edit each vlog and get it up. So it's actually just been a really good experience. I'm so glad to have all these little memories on um, film, on film, on YouTube, on camera, filmed um, for our daughter Nora to be able to look back on someday, you know, and rewatch and whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this super, super chatty, very off topic nighttime skincare routine, which was, that was like, you know, 1% of the video, but I appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 16. I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you soon. Bye.